Good morning, folks. Welcome to the Cap Guy Show. Starring him and me. I'm JT, and we're in Oklahoma. Cap Guy had a sad day yesterday. Lost one of his dogs, Mr. Pickles. And uh, Cap Guy wasn't too motivated yesterday. But anyway, we're going to get on with it today. What else you been doing? I've been practicing my backstroke. Breaststroke. Freestyle. You trying out for the Olympics? Uh, no. I'm practicing for Maui. <laughs> I heard about riptides and I got to be buff. More buff than I already am. <laughs> okay, I got you. How's that diet coming? It's going good. It's going real good. Thank you. Uh, good sales last couple of days. After a couple of days in the Memorial Weekend not being too great. But hey, it is what it is. And today, we're going to talk about plush. Plush. Would I be considered a plush cap guy? <laughs> yeah, plush puppet. Uh, I'm real. I may be plush, but I'm real. Uh, I know you are. I know you are. All right, then. Don't call me a puppet. I'm not a puppet. A puppet, somebody that's, like, under a country and they're pulling the chains and, you know, pulling them strings, and that's a puppet. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It make my mouth move when I say that. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we better get on with them sales. You had some big ones. Yeah, I did, I did. I didn't have a lot of number sales, but cost of goods versus sales and then profit was good, especially on Memorial Day. Wow, it surprised me. Yeah, surprised me too. But uh, anyway, we're going to get on with the show. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Do it now. There you go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yesterday I lost one of my dogs. And I don't know how old Mr. Pickles was. He's a Boston Terrier. He was, um, I've had him for about five to six years. He had been uh, dumped on the street in a town west of me. And people were posting him on social media. And I had a dog. I really didn't need another one. But the people finally posted on social media that if we didn't get him by Sunday afternoon, they were just going to put him back out on the street. And I, I just felt like that wasn't the right thing to do. So I went over and met the people. And he'd already kind of grown attached to them. They said they couldn't keep him because of the place they lived and the rent. Uh, they didn't have a dog on the lease. So a lot of people don't pay attention to that. But anyway, I took him and... and uh, he could be a pain sometimes, and he definitely liked to run in and out. He kept me busy, and uh, but uh, yeah, he he passed yesterday. And again, I don't know how how old he was. Uh, my other dog, baby, is about uh, fourteen, fifteen, so I know her time is limited as well. But uh, enjoy them pets, cause uh, one day they're gone, just like us. Enjoy each other, because one day we could all be gone, and. And you just never know when that's going to be. And uh, anyway, we're going to get on with the show. Today we're going to talk about plush. And I am by no means an expert on plush, but I have sold quite a bit, and it was my number two seller last year. And you'll probably hear that again in the video. Um, we're going to get into my sales. I had some good sales, not, not huge numbers after Memorial. The first two days of Memorial weekend weren't good at all. Um, I mean, it was sales are sales, profits, profits. You're making money. You're making money. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to get on with the show and I hope you enjoy it. And again, we're going to talk about plush and some things, not everything. It won't be an all knowing video, but we're going to talk about some of the things that I've done in my research that I've found and maybe it will help you. So let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to join us tonight, seven o'clock central time, myself and Angie resells on my channel and we'll be playing again. Three items which sold for more. There you go. Talk to you later, folks. All right, I'm going to show you the first sale I had on Memorial Day. It's this pair of Psycho Bunny 4XL t-shirts. Um, I picked these up for $2 a piece. I did not realize till I was taking pictures that these had holes in the back of them. And I'll show you those. <clears throat> there you go. There's like three or four or five holes in each one in the back near the bottom of the shirt. Here's the green one. 
And um, rather than just throw them away, I went ahead and listed them to see if there was any interest. And lo and behold, I sold them. So $4 in, I sold them for $30 plus shipping. Those are going on a flat rate envelope and I'll pop up my profit. And now we'll get into the live, the live showing of the ones that I've also sold that I have not packaged yet. So if they're a brand um, that you think uh, has some value, don't just give up on them. I could have sold those at a yard sale for a buck a piece and glad I didn't now. Um, NCAA football, Xbox 360. Uh, it is complete and cleaned, meaning I cleaned it on the JFJ Pro, and I paid two hundred two. Sold this for ten plus shipping, and I'll pop that profit up. The next is uh, it's a gaming controller, and how did I describe this? I'm trying to remember the name of it. It is a sharper image Wow E replacement robot Roba. Raptor remote control. I guess it goes to a dinosaur. And uh, this is one of them parted out things, except I didn't have the parted out. I just had the the remote. Um, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. sold it for $13.50 plus shipping, and I'll pop that profit up. Next item is some eight track tape or uh, cassette tapes, ACDC. And uh, I got uh, Back in Black. Dirty Deeds Done ch Dirt Cheap, and for those about to rock, I salute you. Ah. Yeah, there you go. I love ACDC, one of my favorite bands of all time. And uh, where did I pick these up? I picked these up at the Goodwill Bins. So basically probably 20 cents in all of them, and I sold those for $24 plus shipping, and those are going to Great Britain. Thank you, Great Britain. Let's rock. Okay. I'm get off that. Next one is, um, I probably need to show you, Guns Out, or Suns Out, Guns Out tank top. I got this at Goodwill, and I paid $253 for it. Actually, at a different thrift store. $253, sold this for $14.99 plus shipping, and uh, tank tops and shorts, get them out, because it's that time to sell them. And I'll pop that profit up. The next I got at the, the uh, Blanchard, Yard sale, it is Mario World 3DS XL plus three extra games and all the controllers and everything, the pen, the stylus pen. I paid 20 bucks for all of it. I decided to put it all together. There's a Super Mario 2 in there, but I just said, you know what? Throw it in with a deal. So I paid 20 bucks. I sold it for 205 plus shipping and I'll pop that fantastic profit up. And the next thing I sold, and I believe this may be the last thing I sold, it is... It is a Carhartt vest. I got it for a dollar. And I didn't know it was worth what it's worth. These go for about 200 bucks. It's a camo vest with brown corduroy on the uh, shoulders here in the front. And, uh, yeah. And then when I was taking pictures, as I always do, that's usually when I'll find an issue. And there's a tear right here at the bottom on the back. And I did describe it and show it in the pictures. And, um... So that's why the price didn't garner as much. Like I said, they go for about 200 bucks. But um, I put mine on for one, I think I did 170 and then I kept dropping it and I finally got it to 160 and last night somebody bid $1 into $160 plus shipping. And it says it's an international sale, but it's going to Washington. So I'm assuming that it's going on from there either to Canada or maybe overseas somewhere. So there you go. And I had a total of uh, seven sales. Is that correct? Six sales. Six or seven. I'll, I'll pop it up. I'll pop it up. Because I'm looking at the screen versus a tablet. And uh, here's my cost of goods. Very low. Here's my total sales. And my fantastic profit. Didn't look like it was going to be a good weekend, but it turned into a good weekend. And uh, there you go. And I'm going to get on with it. And I got a couple sales already this morning. And hopefully they take back off again. Because everybody's done. Everybody's done partying this weekend. Getting out in the fresh air for the first time in a while. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll be back with Wednesday sales. Or Tuesday sales. I'm not, Man, I'm just all messed up. Today is Tuesday. I'm screwed up with the weekend. But 
We'll be back with Tuesday sales before I pop the video out. So anyway, see you later, folks. See you soon. All right, on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, June 1st, the first day of June. Man, it's flying by. Um, I had seven sales, and we're going to get into them. The first one's a yard sale find. They're Nike Air Jordan 32s. Uh, picked these up for $5. They're for youth. Um, sold them for $39 plus shipping, and I'll pop that profit up. There you go. The next are uh, authentic uh, Chinese boating balls. And I did get a couple of questions if they were solid and what size they were and all that kind of good stuff. I picked these up recently at a uh, yard sale for $2. Sold these for $20.50 on a best offer. Plus shipping, those go on to Canada, and I'll pop that profit up. The next is a vintage Welch Allen otoscope with a military case. It's got the U.S. Corman uh, logo on it. And uh, this is a uh, thing that goes in your ear, and they check it out. It's vintage, obviously. And uh, we've got some bulbs still with it and all the little tubes. And, uh, yeah. I got this for a dollar at an estate sale recently and sold it $75 plus shipping. I'll pop up that fantastic profit. The next is a Mary Kay Emollient Night Cream. This is a travel size. Picked this up from Kittenville Brick. My buddy in a trade. I had nothing invested in this. Sold it for $6 plus uh, shipping. And uh, I will pop up that profit. The next is Disney Pixar uh, Toy Story. It's the Alien Eraser Claw rocket ship type deal. It's really small. The picture makes it look a lot bigger than it is. I'd say it's probably about eight inches tall. And uh, Pizza Planet, there you go. I paid a uh, dollar for that at a yard sale. Actually, the Banner uh, barn sale where I filmed horses and other stuff. Bought a lot of good stuff out of that sale. And um, sold it for $21.99 plus shipping. And uh, I'll pop that profit up. The next is L'Oreal Paris Excellent Cream Conditioning Treatment. Number three, a lot of three. I bought it. A bag of these, um, I got the whites already sold. There were like three sets of three in that, and I got five sets of three. This is the first one that sold in the pink, which they're the same item. I don't know why they got different colors on the outside, but hey, I had nothing invested. I paid 20 for a whole bag of these and some other little makeups and, and some ball caps and, uh, and a book. And uh, so I did all the valuation on the, uh, the ball caps and the book. Um, yeah, nothing invested, sold them for 17 free shipping, and I'll pop up that profit. And the last thing I sold, Xbox 360, no manual, but this is Dynasty Warriors Gundam. There you go. And uh, I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale, sold it for $22.99 plus shipping, and I'll pop up that profit. So on the day, I had seven sales. Here's my cost of goods. Here's my total sales, and here's my profit above that goal of 150 a day. I'll take it. And now we're going to get into today's topic: plush stuffed animals. Here we go. And I and a disclaimer: I'm no by means a or by no means. Uh, I'm a man of no means, king of the road. I know. Oh, never mind. All right. Anyway, I am not an expert on plush, but I have sold quite a bit, and it was my second best selling item last year. So I'm going to go over some things that I did research on and found. And some of it may be surprising. Some of it you will already know about. But let's get let's get with it. All right. In doing my research, one of the things that, that I found were these, anytime you see these rubber-faced vintage dolls, and it doesn't matter. I mean, it could be the monkey, um, the rabbit, and you can just kind of see the value of these things. Now, a lot of these are from the 50s. It's not going to be something you run across every day. But when you're digging in plush at estate sales or yard sales, sometimes you're going to run across this stuff because people get rid of plush. Um, and you just kind of get an idea here. I mean, 400, 600, 900, 
It's just crazy money for these things. And it's just basically a plush. Now, a lot of these are um, brands like Rushton and Knickerbocker. That's the two themed ones that I came across a lot. Um, so if you see those, you see the value. I mean, it's, it's good, good money. So definitely don't pass on those. As a matter of fact, I got a rubber faced devil, uh, in a, in a deal, um, actually in the, uh, estate sale and I've got it pretty low. So I'm going to do some research on that again and, and get that up. So there you go. I had that monkey when I was a kid. A little kid back in the 60s with the banana. So there you go. Okay, the next thing. Um, these are just generic ones, but I did everything over $150. Now, we know about Squishmallows, so I'm not going to go over those. But this My Pet Monster stood out when I was doing my research, too. Anytime you run across this guy, and he looks like he has different themes. They look like they're all from 1986 by Amtoy. And... Every one of them I found went for big money. And I recently saw somebody had one of these. Uh, somebody I follow, and I'm trying to remember who it was. Might have been my, um, well, I'm not going to say because I may be wrong. Um, yeah, this is 1985, My Pet Monster with Cuffs. Again, you see a lot of these are plush. Some are rubber faced that are mixed in because I did not sort out the rubber faced. Um, there's another one, My Pet Monster. There's another My Pet Monster. Um, again, you see the value of these things. Here's some of the Walt Disney. Uh, there's a Lion King Simba. And of course, Squishmallows are going to be in here because they're, they're hot right now. But another My Pet Monster. So you get the idea. There's another My Pet Monster. There's another one. So if you see those, and again, you're not going to see them every day, but if you see them, you might want to consider grabbing them. Okay, the next one is some that I have sold, Plants vs. Zombies. I got a bunch of these. Now, none of them are crazy money individually, but these are pretty small little plush, and you can just see like the flower here, the sunflower. Um, again, I've sold a bunch of these in lots and got like $65 pretty quickly, and now I know why. Um, even the smallest things, like this little walnut. So, you definitely want to be looking at plants versus zombies, and if you don't want to sell them individually, lot them up. I mean, again, you see the kind of the theme here. Now we're going to get into Super Mario, and Super Mario, again, similar. You're going to have some that are like Bowser here that's worth $65. And you're going to have a bunch that are in the 20 range. And I did used on every plush I looked at. I did not look at new because that's going to be skewing the whole thing. Looks like Bowser's pretty valuable alone. And again, I'm going through these Luigi. And some of these Marios are more vintage than others. And the Luigis and stuff. So you just have to kind of look at the tags and hopefully the tags are still on them. Please do not cut your tags off your plush. Especially for us resellers. And some of these, I think like uh, Maggie Koopa um, are going to, the uh, this one here, are going to be more valuable by the show because of the show Jeffy on YouTube. Um, there's a, some of these characters that are used especially uh, like Princess Peach. She's also in that show. So those those have value because of that. Um, all right. Five Nights at Freddy's. Now I have sold a bunch of these and I have a bunch of these. And the few that I've sold, well, there's one of them, that bear, the golden bear. Now there's two bears. There's a brown one and a golden one. And it's the 2016. They took 85. I just sold mine for 164.99. I do have this one currently on eBay. Um, and I paid 50 cents for one of these candles. Now, that's not the one. Uh, it's different. But you can, again, you see Five Nights at Freddy's. A lot of those are valuable. So when you see them, there's the one I had again. And again, mine sold for more than that used. And I do have this one on there right now, Bonnie. So um, I'm going to scroll back down. 
Okay, this is the candle that I paid 50 cents for and sold it to somebody overseas in Europe. Uh, I think I got like about 30 bucks for mine. 29, 30 bucks, something like that. So yeah, you definitely want to look each one up and comp them because you can see the value of these pieces. And they're not that old. They're, they're like 20, uh, 2016. There's a purple one um, and the bear again. So you definitely want to be looking for Five Nights at Freddy's plush. Okay. And then the last one I'm going to show you is Sonic. I have sawed Sonic and Sonic Tails for about 70 a piece. The blue, but the yellow one's even more valuable. And as you can see again, some of these, and these are all used. Again, I'm, I'm doing used. I don't want to do new. That's going to skew the numbers because um, unless they're vintage, they're, they're, if they're vintage and they're new, they're going to be worth even more. But um, again, you don't want to take the, the tags off. Um, obviously, if your child's playing with them, leave the tail tag on anyway. Don't. Uh, I know you're going to take the paper one off. But if you're just collecting them, then uh, leave everything on them. And again, you get an idea. So there's plenty of other plush that are worth money. Um, some of the other, you know, bears, Build-A-Bear, Gans, Gund, all those. And um, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna make money on them. Plush are definitely a pickup because most of the time you're gonna get them for 50 cents or a dollar or a quarter at a yard sale. Um, and, that, and that's definitely a good ROI, like ball caps you're going to make some good money on it, especially if they're valuable. And if they're not and they're worth $12, $15, you still got a good you know, return on your, your money. So there you go. Again, folks, I hope I helped. Hope you enjoyed it. If I did, give it a thumbs up. If I did, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. 62 away from 1,000. Thanks again, folks. Have a great day. And the Cap Guy and JT will talk to you soon.